A theory of aging that's really caught our attention lately is this Sirtuin theory of aging, and it's a really interesting theory. Um, the theory really comes out of studies that were done looking at what they call caloric restriction. So what is caloric restriction? Caloric restriction is the process whereby we significantly reduce the number of calories that we're eating every single day, and it can be as much from 40 to 60 percent. So you might think, well, why is that so exciting? That sounds like a miserable existence, and it definitely is, right? When you actually go in and look at the physiology of individuals who are undergoing caloric restriction, you actually see just a tremendous amount of health benefits coming as a result. Healthy longevity, a healthy vascular system, helping us maintain cholesterol levels already in the normal range, and then a lot of cognitive functions. So our mood's a little bit better, we can think a little bit clearly once we've uh, acclimated to caloric restriction. Um, you do start to get some increases in energy as well. So if we're again talking about inputs versus outputs or, or the physiology or the health benefits that are being experienced, these researchers wanted to go in and understand the molecular biology through these cell signaling pathways or communication networks during caloric restriction. So when they were doing that, they went in and they identified a family of proteins called the sirtuins. And so it turns out when you remove sirtuins from the cell, and there's really easy ways you can do that genetically, or you put different inhibitors into the system so you keep these sirtuins from working, what they found is that you completely lost the health benefits of caloric restriction. So thus, sirtuins are absolutely required for the health benefits of caloric restriction. As this connection was made between caloric restriction and sirtuins, scientists wanted to figure out everything that they could about these sirtuin proteins. So what does it take for these sirtuins to work? One thing that they found absolutely required for sirtuin activity is a molecule called NAD. And this was really a, a surprise because normally scientists think of NAD as just living in the mitochondria, uh, living other places in the cell, involved in various aspects of metabolism and energy production. People really got interested in that relationship between NAD and sirtuins because now you had a direct link between metabolism and then ultimately a way to activate this family of proteins that's been shown to be so important for all these health benefits. So of course NAD becomes a very intriguing molecule. We started to ask the questions, were there ways that we could manipulate sirtuin activity through NAD without having to restrict all of those calories. So we went to work, we formulated Protandum NAD Synergizer specifically to target NAD and NAD dependent pathways with the ultimate goal of increasing sirtuin activity. So we went, performed our research studies with our strategic partners and what we found is that three hours we saw a 46% increase in sirtuin activity and then when we looked at 24 hours after giving Protandum NAD Synergizer, we saw a 100% increase in activity.